Energy in Angola describes energy and electricity production, consumption and export from Angola. The energy policy of Angola reflects energy policy and the politics of Angola. Biomass accounts for 58% of the country's energy consumption, oil accounts for 35%, gas 4% and hydroelectric power 3%. Primary energy use in 2009 in Angola was 138 terawatt hours and 7 terawatt hours per million persons. Angolans suffer frequent daily blackouts. In 2012, days before the election, the government announced $17 billion US in planned energy investment, designed to alleviate the paucity of available energy. Topic overview. Angolan population has increased 19.4% in the five years 2004–2009. Hydroelectricity Angola has extensive hydroelectric power resources that far exceed its present needs. The Kapanda Dam, on the Kwanzaa River, provides Luanda's industries with cheap power. Two dams on the Katumla River produce power for the Lobito and Benguela areas Lomalm Dam. Matala Dam 180 km of Lubango provides power to Lubango and Mokamedes. The Ruakana Falls Dam, near the Namibian border, was completed in the late 1970s, but the power station is in Namibia. A 520 MW hydroelectric station on the Kwanzaa River at Kapanda was tentatively scheduled to have begun production in early 2003. As of late 2002, only three of the country's six dams Kambamib, Biopo, and Matala were operational. $200 million has been allocated to repair the remaining dams, which suffered major damage in the Civil War. In 2002, electricity generation was 1.728 TWh, of which 34.5% came from fossil fuels and 65.5% from hydropower. In the same year, consumption of electricity totaled 1.607 TWh. Total capacity in 2002 was 700 megawatts. Electricity is produced by Empresa Nacional de Electricidade de Angola. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Crude oil. Angola ranks second in crude oil production in sub-Saharan Africa. Oil has been Angola's chief export since 1973. It also accounts for half the gross domestic product and is the leading source of government revenue, accounting for $2.9 billion in exports in 1994, or 95% of the total. At the end of 2004, Angola had proven oil reserves of 8.8 .8 billion barrels, 1.40 cubic kilometers. Oil reserves are along the Atlantic coast, mostly off the shore of Cabinda province and the northern border area between Quinzao and Soyo. In 1999, several oil companies were engaged in oil production, of which the largest was a subsidiary of Chevron, Cabinda Gulf Oil Company. This company has a 49 of a percent participation agreement with Soningal, the state's oil company. Other firms included Fina Petrolios de Angola, a Belgian subsidiary, Elf Aquitaine, and Texaco. In 2004, crude oil production averaged 991,000 barrels per day, 157,600 cubic meters d. ExxonMobil subsidiary Esso began development of a section of the Zikambar offshore oil field in August 2002. Production there ceased in August 2011. Topic: <laughs> Lobito refinery. Development has been planned but much delayed, of a new 200,000 barrel per day cubic meters d refinery in the city of Lobito, on the coast. The Angolan state-owned oil company Soningal would have a 70% stake in the Sonaref refinery at Lobito, its then head Carlos Satanino said in 2006, and the Chinese oil company Sinopec would retain the remainder. <laughs> oil in the Angolan economy Angola's economy was profoundly affected by the sharp drop in oil prices in 2014. This is even though new skyscrapers, appeared in Luanda, offices, shopping centers and apartment buildings proliferated in a mini golden age, as leading economist Alves da Rocha called it, from 2003 to 2008. Yet, probably three quarters of the population of Luanda live in tumble-down slums. 
Two thirds of the 16.5 million people in Angola live on less than $2 a day, according to the World Bank, and the oil industry employs less than 1% of the workforce. Foreigners, including Chinese construction companies and several hundred thousand Chinese workers, and as many or more Portuguese and Brazilian trade and finance consultants and managers. Oil companies set up shop in Angola. Topic: Natural gas. Gross natural gas production totaled 8.4 cubic kilometers, 3.0 times 10^11 cu feet in 2002. Total natural gas reserves were estimated at 9.7 trillion cubic feet as of 2015. Domestic demand for refined petroleum products is expected to increase as the economy gradually rebuilds following the end of the civil war, and the environmental impact would be positive, according to project advocates, since the gas is a byproduct of crude oil extraction that would otherwise be flared. As of 2002, Soningal and Chevron Texaco had joined forces in a $2 billion project to develop liquefied natural gas from natural gas in Angola's offshore fields. Production was slated to begin in 2007 but Angola LNG made its first shipment in June 2013. A system failure brought a design flaw to light in 2014, and production was expected to resume in 2015. Environment Oil spills in Angola Angola fined Chevron Texaco $2 million for causing environmental damage in 2002 to fisheries caused by obsolete tubes at the Cabinda oilfield. Chevron promised to spend $108 million replacing the pipes. The company pumps almost three quarters of Angola's oil, and also reduced crude production about 12%, after a pipeline leak. <laughs> See also Oil Mega Projects 2011 Renewable energy by country